How much do we understand about Earth? People are always researching it. They go up and down mountains, through dense woods, and to the bottom of the ocean. There shouldn't be any secrets left on Earth in the 21st century, but there are. To find one of the most mysterious places on Earth, all you have to do is go to the Bay of Bengal. North Sentinel Island is a good idea. The trip won't be easy. This video will show you what's really going on on a closed island in the Indian Ocean. I'm going to show you how risky it is to know other people's secrets and what happens when you give up your curiosity. One of the world's most mysterious tribes might become your friend, and it's better to do it online. Why? First, you'll see some facts for yourself. North Sentinel Island is likely something you already know about. The island in the Indian Ocean is just one of many. It's not very big, only 60 square kilometers, 23 square miles, but it's there. But this island doesn't let anyone on it. Not tourists, not people who live on nearby islands, not even experts. Scientists are also not allowed to go to this site. However, why is this place so well known? I can say for sure that it's not because of toxic spiders or snakes, and it's not even because of an old curse. It's just that the strangest people in the world live on this island. There are between 15 and 400 people living on a small area of land, and this isn't a mistake. There are no guests on North Sentinel today, so no one can keep track of how many people are there. The people who live there probably can't read or write. I say probably because I haven't found proof of this. Scientists can only guess and keep an eye on things from afar. One could, of course, use current technology to help in this case, like satellite images, but even so we fail. The island is mostly made up of dense woods, except for the shore. Through all the plants, there is nothing that can be seen. What could be hidden in the thick plants? For example, there are dinosaurs and signs of an alien society in the Atlantis underground city. Why do we not know much about the people who live on this island? The people who live on this island are called Sentinelese. The people who live there are from the Andaman Islands and live alone. Scientists say that the Sentinel people have lived almost completely alone for 60,000 years or since the beginning of time. These are the people who don't know what a horse is, let alone Bitcoin, global warming or Netflix. There are still some experts who have been able to see the natives. Researchers have said that the people who live there aren't very tall at about 165 centimeters, five feet and a half feet. This could be because of island dwarfism. The skin was dark and shiny, the teeth were straight, and the muscles were strong. Even though thousands of years have passed, the sentinel people still hunt and gather food. The tribe probably hunts land animals with bows, arrows, and spears. They catch seafood by hand like crabs and snails. People think that the natives eat a lot of them because their homes are full of empty shells. Some of the things they do haven't changed much since the Stone Age. The most interesting thing is that it's not clear if the locals know how to make fire, even though they do use it. The Sentinel people are thought not to farm, but they can build canoes. Even in 2020, think that the Sentinel people live in small temporary huts, like metal dance, and speak a language no one else knows. That's all there is to say about this one-of-a-kind island and civilization. Researchers are eager to learn as much as they can about the indigenous population, but they are unable to do so, not by the islands, of course. India officially runs North Sentinel Island, but the people who live there and the government don't agree on anything. The Indian government, on the other hand, makes sure that the Sentinels are not bothered. The biggest reason is that the tribe isn't near any other people. The group hasn't been able to get immune to common diseases because they haven't been in touch with the outside world for thousands of years. A primitive community might be very sad if they had even a short conversation with someone from outside the group. It would be very easy for the sickness to spread. They really are at risk of being killed, and these threats are not made up. In the 1800s, British officer Maurice Vidal Portman looked into the people who lived on the island. These studies are not humane. Portman took six sentinels hostage at one point. Once they were there, he took them to the next big city. 
the locals quickly got sick and two adults died. Portman took four sick kids back to the island and left them on the beach. Luckily, the tribe lived through these tests. Every so often, Indian border police boats go along the coast to keep the island safe from diseases that could come from the mainland. Indian border police boats check the water near the coast on a regular basis. You can only get as close as nine kilometers, which is five nautical miles. There are limits on what can be done nearby. North Sentinel Island is partly protected because it is a rare gem, and there are still a few people who don't interact with others, like the Sentinels. But the people on the island can also stand up for themselves. They do it all the time. They choose not to communicate with the outside world, and they are very hostile toward outsiders. It shows how aggressive the Sentinels are that they are ready to kill anyone from the outside, even if they aren't attacked. There have also been calm talks, of course. The first one was in 1991, but people stopped going to the island after 1997. They now try very hard not to get in touch with the Sentinels. In 2004, there was an earthquake in the Indian Ocean. To help, the Indian government sent a chopper to the island. Over 200,000 people died in the accident, which should have done away with the Sentinels. But the locals made it through the disaster. How did they get it done? It's not known. The islanders had to adapt to the weather's effects on the coral reef, where they hunted for food, but they didn't particularly enjoy the helicopter. They started hitting it with arrows, stones, and swords. It was clear that they were okay. Actually, scientists think that Sentinel's hatred is a sign of how stable the community's culture and body are. It's not just a desire to shoot down a big iron bird, even though it's illegal and could kill them. People are still coming to North Sentinel Island. Indian fishermen were caught fishing for crabs illegally near the banned island on January 27, 2006. As their boat drifted into shallow water, they didn't pay attention to the warning signs of other boats. These fishermen never came back home, which is sad. The invaders were killed when Sentinel troops attacked the ship. An Indian Coast Guard chopper transported the fishermen's bodies to the island three days later. Guards brandishing swords and arrows met them. The strong pushback meant that the Sentinels couldn't get through, so the bodies were left on the island. People in the area say they buried the fishes. Almost everything that gets to North Sentinel Island just goes. In 2018, missionary John Allen Chow had the same bad luck as the crab hunters. He paid about $30,000 to two sailors to get to the island. Chow tried to get in touch with the locals more than once, but everything went as planned. He was killed with bows and arrows by the guards. Later, the fishermen who brought him to the island were caught. Chow's body was still on North Sentinel Island, and it was thought to be buried there. North Sentinel Island is still one of the places on Earth that hasn't been studied very much. Nobody knows what lies deep in its woods or what secrets the tribe, stuck in the Stone Age, is hiding. It's still a mystery. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you click on the bell, you'll be notified when new interesting videos are ready for you.